Morning, people. Welcome to the uh, first audition for the Captain Crypto Morning News Show. Um, when I signed up for the gig, I had no idea that we'd be looking at late nights and early mornings with this uh, crypto malarkey. I, they asked me if I could help out with the news show. I thought maybe we could do it in the afternoon, but apparently it's the morning news. Uh, which I'm not not overly happy about, but you know, I, I, it's for you guys, not for me. So let's uh, let's start at the beginning. Okay, um, right. So here we are. Hackers steal nearly a hundred million in Japan crypto heist. Does that mean it's the Japanese that have stolen it, or is it Japanese crypto? I'll let you go. I'll let you guys know. So you're in the know. Never say the captain won't help you out. Okay, right, leading Japanese cryptocurrency exchange Liquid has been hit by hackers. With almost 100 million, that's dollars, in real money, sterling, 73 million pound, estimated to have been stolen. Now that's, that's, that's a big old rinse. Someone's had that away, they're on their toes, they're off, they've got the 73 million pound. The company's announced some of its digital currency wallets has been compromised. I told you, Capture Crypto will provide you with your wallets. You shouldn't be trusting these other fellas. It's a safe bet dealing with me. You guys know me, so use me for the wallets. Right, okay. It's the second major theft of cryptocurrency to take place in recent days. From what I remember, my contacts were telling me that there was an even bigger rinse. 600 million was famoused away into the ether. And uh, I believe they, uh, they sent a, a polite note to try and get some back. Uh, I don't know how that worked out. Right, um, so they're saying, they're sorry to announce that at Liquid Global, warm wallets were compromised. So to me, that says that the wallet was probably in the back of the trousers, heating up nicely next to the never and, uh, and, uh, and now they're gone. Right, um, we're moving assets into the cold wallet. The cold wallet you'll probably find will be at the front of the gents rather than at the back. It's a little bit of a colder area. So warm wallets at the back, Cold wallets in the front, guys. Don't make that a schoolboy uh, school mistake that these people make. Um, okay, so so-called warm or hot digital wallets are usually based online. So they'll be in their internet spaghetti and designed to allow users to access their cryptocurrencies more easily. Speaking of accessing cryptocurrencies, uh, a good friend of mine made a savvy investment a little while ago. Sorry about being tired this morning, people, but we, we will get into it. And... Um, it, they've been checking their phone every, I think it was every six and a half minutes, uh, watching watching, watching their digital stock rise. They started planning, a, I think it was a holiday uh, to Mexico, they wanted a uh, deposit on a flat and a few bits and pieces. Ends up, they can't get their currency out. So, uh, more, more about that later. Um, Right, blockchain analytics from Elliptic said its analysis showed that around about 97 million in cryptocurrencies have been taken with Bitcoin and Ethereum tokens amongst them all. So two of my favourites there, the old Bitcoin and Ethereum. Tried to purchase some the other night on the previous episode. Almost got there. Almost lost my uh, crypto virginity with it. But not quite. Close but no cigar, as it's said in some circles. Right, Liquid said it was tracing the movement of stolen cryptocurrencies and working with other exchanges to freeze and recover the assets. And they probably got the assets on CCTV and they're just following them around at the moment. But, you know, it's, uh, it's not that easy to catch a crypto. <laughs> right, okay. So, founded in 2014, Liquid operates in over 100 countries. I think Captain Crypto is currently in six. But we'll be growing that. Um, we're, we're going to be bringing you segments from around the world. I've got a nephew in Australia. And I've got a cousin, Zach, from Ghana. He's, a, he's, he's been doing his own research over in the dark continent. So he'll be bringing us news uh, from there. Um, so basically, it's one of the world's top 20 biggest cryptocurrencies exchanges by daily trading volumes, according to CoinMarket. We met, we met CoinMarket the other day, if you remember that. CoinMarket cap data. Right, last week, 600 million was sold for the blockchain site Poly Network. I believe Poly Network was the unbreakable chain, but unfortunately the class came off of it, and the uh, crypto pearls cascaded along the floor, and uh, now, now they're just not there. So I basically exploited the vulnerability in the system. Um, so yeah, if you imagine this was the system. Yeah. 
<laughs> we poked some holes in the system, poured in the water, and it cascaded out. That was the unbreakable system. Unfortunately, it's now broken. And we're out of coffee. Hi, coffee run, please, darling. What a Time waits for no girl, Hope. Thank you very much. All right, okay. Where are we? The amount of money that you've hacked is one of the biggest in DeFi, decentralized finance in history, Poly Network said. Since then, the hacker who goes under the name of Mr. White Hat. Mr. White Hat. You all know the captain's partial to a hat. So I've not got a white hat. So uh, maybe I'll have a chat with him at some point, try and get him on the show, see what he says. You never know. Mr. White Hat, I quite like that. It's a bit Tarantino, that, isn't it? Right. Okay, uh, he's returned around £427 million of the assets. Now, what I want to know, when I was a kid, I was in, uh, I was in, what was it, we were in Woolworths with my mum, and uh, we were doing a little bit of shopping, as you do with a kid, and uh, I had my own ideas about what the purchases should be. It wasn't the same as mum's, so I did my own shopping from the, uh, from, from the push chair, kept it underneath the covers, and... Uh, Basically, you know, it was a, it was a, I forgot what I was saying now. Right, back to the news. Since then, how can go? Mr. White Hat returned. Well, yeah, so the point was, you can't actually return so, so some of your stolen goods. Either you return the whole of the stolen goods and the crime could go away, but if you give two thirds of it back and think it's okay now, I'm only keeping 173 million. Whose money was it? It could have been some of yours, guys. Are you happy with the fact that he's returned some of the money? Who's going to nick him? Who's looking for him? What's the team involved? You know? Did someone phone up 999? I've lost me 600 million, but they've given a bit back. Does it? Come on now. Right. So, Liquid is not the only Japanese cryptocurrency platform to be hit by major heists. In 2014, Tokyo Base Exchange, MT Gox, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's early, so... Collapsed after almost half a billion dollars of Bitcoin went missing. Whenever I miss any coins, first thing I do, back of the sofa. Lift up the cushions, have a look. You might find an old remote control battery down there, but you're guaranteed to find some coins. I'm not saying any of them are going to be bitty, but, you know, have a look. It could be down there. Or, if you've got any old computers, open a disk drive, see if there's any coins in there. That's the two places that you're quite likely to find them. Okay, so CoinCheck was also hacked for five five hundred and thirty million pound in a heist in two thousand and eighteen. So really, for this super secure currency bit, a lot of money's gone. You see, if we top the figures there, you're looking at six hundred million, five hundred and thirty million, five hundred million. Now, I'm not the world's greatest mathematician, and four hundred twenty-seven of it went back. But I think that's about a billion and a half. Right, okay, so segment one of the news complete. Let's have a look at the uh, the next story. Oh, I started to wake up. Where's that hope for the coffee? Hope, where's the coffee? Right, okay. So here we are. Crypto, investing and selling. Top five ways to avoid the attention of HMRC. Okay, this reminds me. There is a very, very useful video for you guys um, from your man Tanner. That's on the Crypto Bible. That's basically talks to you about the HMRC. What some people don't realise, thank you very much, you little star. What some people don't realise is your crypto money is subject to the uh, tentacles of the British government. And if you... Uh, if you're not paying your, your, your dues, then unfortunately they may come for you. Because it's a, a fairly new thing. It might take the government a little while to catch up and uh, to be able to dip their fingers into your pie. But it's going to happen. And some people, it's already happening to people. So you've got to be careful. So check out Tanner's video in the link below. And it will keep you on a straight and narrow. And fly straight like a sparrow. Bow and arrow. Right, so crypto investing and selling, top five ways to avoid the attention and the computer's gone down. Do you know what? I was so excited to be in these crypto studios. Now they've got me doing mornings and now the, uh, the, the internet don't work. But it is what it is. Let's go back on. Lucky I'm a damn hands at these things. Hope, sort that, sort that. Get, get the old there, uh, get the network on first, please. Hope, come on, mate. I ain't got time to be doing all this. Not connected. This one, Opie. 
Still not connected. I thought you were better than this. Right, here we are. Are we, are we there? Lovely. You fixed it? No. Oh, it's this morning's news, Hope. Not the afternoon. Connection was interrupted. So it's what this could be is, thank you very much. Sometimes, like the hackers, you might get people trying to stop the, uh, stop the rise of the captain. Now, haters are going to hate. Hackers are going to hack. But the captain is going to be the captain. So, story two. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I don't know what Hope's done there. Okay. Crypto investing. There we are. Top five ways to avoid detection. So, as we mentioned, check out Tanner's video. Crypto investing and selling. Top five ways to avoid the attention of the HMRC. I guarantee you the HMRC is having a look at this as, uh, as we speak, to be fair. Algorithms and analytics and all of those sort of uh, malarkey. Right, earlier this year, the HMRC updated their guidance on the taxation of cryptocurrency in the UK. While not introducing many drastic changes for many crypto lovers, this was another sign of the tax body's growing interest in the financial area. Unfortunately, the bigger things get, the more visible they are. That's how it is, you know. You can't keep your, uh, your crypto games hidden forever. Even though I believe that was one of the original ideas of the, uh, of the whole thing. It seems like that's not going to be like that. Right. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are apolitical, says financial. That's an ad. We don't want that. Scratch that from the record, please. Okay, speaking exclusively to express.co.uk. So I've got people in the media... You know, they're feeding straight back through to the captain. The captain's feeding you. So it's a, it's a relationship where I'm getting and I'm giving. Getting and I'm giving. All right? Okay, so my contact in the Express. Tax barrister Patrick Cannon is sharing the top five ways you can invest and sell cryptocurrency while avoiding the attention of HMRC. Mr. Cannon is also the founder of Cannon Chambers, which specialises in providing taxation advice and advocacy over tax-related issues. Over the last couple of years, he's been receiving a rising number of cases of people who have invested in cryptocurrency, which has resulted in tax issues. So, someone's got the coin. They've invested. It's grown into a monster. The monster's then been seen. It's been spotted coming over the hill. What is it? It's a monster. Who wants a slice of the monster? The government. The government wants a slice of your monster pie. So, Mr. Cannon, he's there protecting you, firing his uh, legal cannon at the HMRC. And they're taking an increasingly serious approach to tax taxpayers who invest or trade in cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, and fail to declare or report the correct amount of tax. Now, I wonder just how many people, yourself included, are declaring all of their crypto gains. How much do you have to pay? Who do you talk to about it? Are you trying to keep it dark? Is it keeping you up at night? Are you worried about the fact that you've got a, uh, a nest of crypto corn and, it, <laughs> and some of it might be looking to fly the nest through to, to, the, uh, to the safety of the government's treehouse? <laughs> right, okay. So here we are, let's have a little scroll. Here. Unfortunately, with this one, they, they're putting a lot of ads to try and take the captain's attention away from delivering you the first class news service. If you like the audition, please let us know. So, uh, I'm not guaranteed this gig at the moment, and, and I, I'm, to be fair, I was actually late in this morning as well. So uh, I didn't realise that when you're when when you ball deep in the crypto, you've got to wait for something called a chart, and uh, it comes on late at night, one o'clock. I was having a little look at a group called um, Discord. Um, oh, so yeah, I was, to, be, to be fair, a little beginners on there, so uh, I'm not sure if it was quite for the captain, but yeah. One o'clock I was up to, and then I was uh, re reading the people talking about crypto and uh, their experiences up until the wee hours of this morning. So it was a bit, oh, this morning. Okay, a little bit tired, a little bit tired. Right, okay, so here we are. Related articles, no, read more, yes. Ooh. HMRC issues warning on self-assessment returns. Must, oh. Crypto corn must be included. Right, trading platforms such as Coinbase make it easy for the armchair investor or day trader to invest in dealing crypto, but it is important to have a basic understanding of the tax implications of what you're doing, people. Yeah. 
do not ignore it. It might come back to and bite you on the ass. Right, so you comply with tax reporting and payment obligation. Okay, that's fine. Okie dokie. Right, so anyway, enough of that tax. As I mentioned, the expert on it is on the Crypto Bible. He's Tanner, I'm sure you're familiar with him. Check out his video. I'm on to the next bit because the morning news is going to become the lunchtime news if I ain't careful. Last. Right, here we are. Here we are. Okay, so this is probably a bit more up my street, to be fair. OnlyFans porn ban is crypto's opportunity of a lifetime. Now, I've got a little bit of experience in the OnlyFans arena. I'm not saying that the captain would take his clothes off for cash. I do a lot of things for money, but well, let's not rule stuff out at this stage. We'll, we'll leave the door open and see who rules for. But a good pal of mine in Luton, um, lovely lady, we won't mention her name. She was making a lot of money from OnlyFans. Now, she was explaining to me how it worked. Basically, for what I understood, it's like a request thing, and you tell them how much you want for you to do for them what they want you to do. And you don't have to do it, but you're getting paid. So people invariably end up doing it. I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of drinking goes on and uh, people lubricate themselves up and uh, get themselves in the mind frame of the porn and then do what they've got to do for the money. Now, OnlyFans porn ban is crypto's opportunity of a lifetime. I don't understand why that would mean an opportunity of a lifetime. Neither do you, so let's find out. So you can leave today's news segment full of fresh ideas and information. Take that, pass it around, say it was sanctified and stamped by the captain and you're good to go. Okay, OnlyFans porn ban. Right. A fella called Lucas Matthew is uh, educating us today. Today, OnlyFans dropped a massive bombshell that will be banning sexually explicit content from the app later this year. Now, how are they going to make their pennies? Uh, this is obvious. This, that's that's going to have an effect on a lot of people, you know. I'm telling you. That was uh, people have been factoring in their only forms, only porn, only porn's finances into their livelihoods. Okay, so obviously a wildly seismic shift for OnlyFans, which completely disrupted the adult content industry and gave performers a path towards greater independence. So you didn't need an agent, you didn't need a porno company. What you needed was a phone and uh, a will to get your kit off and make some corn. Gone now, gone. Back to your porn or whatever it may be. I don't I heard that yet. Okay, so the shutdown is also the opportunity for a lifetime for the crypto industry. Okay, captain's in which would capitalise on the shutdown and a recent wave of increasingly consumer-friendly crypto payments. Infrastructure products to create a platform that won't crumble under the implements of payment providers. Right, that didn't make any sense. Let's go back again. So the OnlyFans completely disrupted the adult content industry, right? So it's, uh, it's had an effect on that. And gave performers a path towards greater independence, allowing them to connect directly with their fans via subscriptions. Okay. So... The benefit for the crypto industry will capitalise on the shutdown and a recent wave of increasingly consumer-friendly crypto payments. Okay, go on. OnlyFans, which has been trying to raise a unicorn valuation and running into plenty of trouble doing so despite huge references, don't mince words on the reasoning for today's fundamental change. These changes are to comply with the requests of our banking partners and payout providers. Okay, so basically people are getting involved with it and... Uh, it's saying no, it's blown up, it's got to a level where big people now are involved and they don't want porn on their agenda. So anyway, there we are. Um, in a lot of ways, OnlyFans dumping porn seems like an outright betrayal of the creative network and there's something those creators will be sure to remember when embracing copycats spring up in their wake. So basically, when you have a good idea and you roll with it, you always spawn little competitors who go and do their own thing. So OnlyFans loss is going to be someone else's game. That's the nature of the beast. Thanks for listening this morning. Catch the crypto audition tape. Sorry I was tired. Uh, don't forget, check out Crypto Bible. Follow on Discord. Subscribe to the channel. Like the like.